Hey guys, what's up? It's Nick here, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a really cool Mac OS X reflective wallpaper inside of Adobe Photoshop. Now, by Mac OS X reflective wallpaper, I mean a background like the background that I have right here that has a couple reflective iPhone icons and then a big X in the middle. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to make a cool wallpaper like this inside of Adobe Photoshop. Now, I'm going to be showing this to you guys inside of Adobe Photoshop version CS4. This will work in CS3, CS4, or any other version, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys in version CS4. Now, before we go ahead and do anything in Photoshop, you want to go down into the link in the description, which I'll provide you, and download this folder here called iPhone Icons. Now, I took the time to actually collect all these icons for you guys and organize them into a folder. So if we open up the folder, we have two little options here. We have the option to go into a pre-made folder, which will have a bunch of pre-made iPhone icons that I've already found. And then we have the option with this iPhone icon various.psd, which is just a Photoshop document that you can use to create your own custom iPod icon. Now, I've made a video about this before. I'm going to go ahead and link that video in the description also. So you can use this PSD to make your own iPhone icons, or you can go here into the pre-made folder and choose any of these icons I've already prepared for you which is what I'm going to be demonstrating in the video. So anyway, once you have that folder downloaded, let's go ahead and launch up Photoshop. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to go up here to File and create a new document, and we want to make the width and the height our screen resolution, which mine is 1280 by 800, and the background contents, make them white, and click OK. Then I'm going to go up here to Edit and Fill, and I'm going to fill it in 50% gray. Click OK. And so now I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer, and I'm going to grab my text tool. Now, uh, I'm using the font Verdana or whatever that's called up there. You can go ahead and search for that if you don't have it, but I think your computers have it. So I'm going to go ahead and make the font size around 800, and I'm going to create a big X. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this and just move the X into sort of the center. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and change the X to black. And so once we have our X right there, we go ahead and right click on the layer with the X on it and duplicate layer. And then we just want to go ahead and drag this X down so it's not really touching but it's sort of like there. And then here where it says opacity, I'm going to go ahead and change that to 28% opacity, which is just the opacity for the reflection that I want. So once we have those, I think we can go ahead and merge the layers. Let me just go ahead and select the layers. Oh, no can't merge the layers. Sorry about that. So once we have our big X in the middle, now we go down here and create another new layer. And we go up here to File and Open. And then find your iPhone Icons folder that I showed you guys. I'm going to go into Pre-Made. Then we find an iPhone icon that I want. I think I'm going to go ahead and choose this Finder icon. So then here where we have both the tabs for this thing right here, we want to drag the tab out so that we have two different windows. We want to make sure we have this tool selected for dragging and dropping and just click and drag the Finder and drag it into the main window. Then just align it the way you want to. I want to align it like that. And then we want to go ahead and find the layer that we have our finder on. Right click it and go to duplicate layer. And then we want to go up here to edit, transform, and rotate 180. Then just drag it down a little and then go and make the opacity again 28%. And so uh, yeah, so now let's go ahead and close out of that Finder one, and let's go back up here to File and Open, and choose another one. So I think I'm going to go down and choose this Applications one. So let's just drag that out, and then drag it into our main workspace. I'm going to drag it over here, and then I'm going to go ahead and make another duplicate of that layer. And I'm just going to go up to Edit, Transform, Rotate 180 again. I'm going to drag it down there, and once again make the opacity. 28. And then I'm going to go down and I'm just going to close this and I'm going to open up another one. I think I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, this Windows one. Drag it out. Drag it in. I'm going to keep it right about there. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the layer again. So uh, edit, transform, rotate 180. And I'm going to drag it down. And then once again, opacity to 28. And then I'm going to go ahead and close out of this Windows one, and I'm going to open up a final one. So I think I'm going to choose this Photoshop one. Click it out, drag it in, I'm going to keep it right about there. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the layer again. And I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, Rotate 180, and drag it down. 
And then for final time, make sure the opacity is 28. And so I'm just going to close that out. And now we have all of our icons that are reflective. Now, one more step before we go ahead and finish this. Uh, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and uh, if you're on a Mac, hold down the command key and click all these. If you're on Windows, hold down the control key. What you want to do is just click and select all these different layers except for the X copy and the X which is the text for the X so then we want to right click it and go to merge layers and then we just want to drag them underneath of the X so that way that the X is the one in the foreground and the icons are reflective in the back then all you have to do is just input whatever text you want and then you're done so I'm gonna go up here to file save as I'm gonna save it as untitled one I'm gonna save it to desktop as a JPEG image save okay and then we have our image saved guys so anyway it's over here so I'm just gonna open that and this is the image we're gonna get we're gonna have a nice gray background with a big reflected X in the middle and then four iPhone icons at the side so anyway that is how to make a cool iPod touch or iPhone like Mac OS wallpaper so anyway you're just gonna need Photoshop and you're gonna need to download all the icons from the link in the description so anyway thanks a lot for watching guys this has been a quick video and I'll see you guys in the next video